Hi, this is Kristenpedia with Sunshine Review's free tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing project pages. Project pages are a way to outline how you'd like to see a set of articles be built in order to communicate with the community on Sunshine Review. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to visit the category Sunshine Review Projects. And you're going to see we have a list of 37 total projects on Sunshine Review. Now let's go ahead and visit one of these articles. I'm going to go ahead and visit the school system project. This is one of the more simple project page designs. You're going to see it just has a list of stage with a couple of simple directions, some sample text, and then a stage two which is how to research it, and then a link to all the articles you'd like to see developed. Now you're going to also notice that we stated our objective in the first sentence. This is very important so that you know what direction the articles are going. Next, you're going to create easy to follow directions. So copy and paste this text, how to do replace, and replacing the number of school districts, which you'll see listed here with the pound signs. So let's go ahead and we're going to follow this very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and paste, copy all the text in the dash box. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And then you would paste it into your text editor. Or in Microsoft, this is called Notepad. And what you're going to do is you're going to do Edit, Find, and then you're going to replace State in all capital letters, which we, they described in the directions, with Florida. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and then you just would copy that and you paste it into your new article. Now this process isn't always perfect and I'll show you how. When I click on show preview you're going to see that it replaces every time it says state. So it's not Florida state budget, it's Florida Florida budget. So make sure you keep an eye out for things like that. We'll go ahead and fix that down here. So it says state. We'll go ahead and add the number of school districts which might be 67, I'm not positive. Actually, I do know it's 74 with the special school districts. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to save our page. And what you're going to see is that you have this nice skeleton that others can come and fill in sections and so that all the articles on school systems will be the same. Now, to how we did the sample text, it's very easy. All you're going to need to do is do a pre-tag. So I'll show you what those look like. The pre-tag, you just do a caret and you write out pre. And then you can add all the code you want in between. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a category link. So category, sunshine review projects close it with those brackets, and then I'm going to do an end pre-tag. So you're just going to add that forward slash and then pre. And then when I click on show preview, you're going to see it comes up in the dash box. So this is how you can add the sample text for your project page. Let's take a look at a more complex project page to see how else you can develop one. As always, you're going to state your objective. Another thing you can do though is create a project badge. A project badge is a way that other users can identify that they're working on the project. A to-do list is usually very similar to a list of instructions and it just relates the priorities within each article. You're going to see some style notes. Style notes are how you would like to format the articles. For example, in this one they ask that all the table of contents are aligned to the right. You're going to see that there's a discussion page template Discussion page templates are in order to help other people come along and maybe get ideas on how they should build this particular set of articles. And last, you're going to see a how-to along with some example pages. Example pages are a great way to decide how you believe the articles should finally look, and they also help others see what they should be looking for as well. And you can see here on the article how-to, if I went ahead and click down one section, you're going to see some more of that sample text we talked about. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click back. And you're going to see, last but not least, templates. Almost every project is going to have at least one template associated with it. And you're going to make sure you want to note that. So, for instance, this one has local elected officials.
So that way that people know which templates they should be including and which type of categories they should be putting on these pages. To do that, you would often build a category hierarchy, like this one. And it shows the main categories for each article along with the subcategories that should be included. Very last, you're going to see a list of articles that need to be built. So this one has a list to all the local officials' templates and which ones are completed and which ones are not. If you have any other questions on how to build project pages, which are very complex, please join us for one of our Wednesday webinars. They happen every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider contributing to Sunshine Review in order to help us maintain the site. I hope you enjoy other tutorials, and thank you.